Words like e-commerce or electronic commerce are often thrown around in all sorts of places. But to properly understand them, we must first go back to 1957. 1957, the birth of the internet and the framework for the digitization of our society. Although, at this point, the internet was very much restricted to military and government uses. So we'll have to fast forward 32 years. And here we are, 1989, the year that affects us most. The internet goes public, the birth of the internet. Increasingly, the internet has been seen to govern our lives, and almost every aspect of life has been computerized, from doing research for a college paper, socializing with friends, gaming, or just as a means of a time suit. It's no surprise that buying and selling have also taken to the internet, which is exactly what e-commerce is. Today, e-commerce, or electronic commerce, can be defined as any sort of transaction made on the internet. So if you've bought something online, whether physical or electronic, then you've engaged in e-commerce. This can include buying directly or buying through affiliates or agents. If you've sold something online, again, whether physical or electronic, then you've also engaged in e-commerce. This can include selling on your website, selling through social networking sites, selling through an auction site, and many, many more. E-commerce can be between a business and customers, also known as B2C. B2C is what you've most likely been involved in. E-commerce can be between businesses and other businesses, for example, one company buying hardware components from another. And it can also be between customers. For example, people selling through an auction website. This is known as P2P. E-commerce provides a simple platform to do business with countries other than your own. Long gone are the days where business was confined to your city and where your audience was also confined to your city. E-commerce is huge and it's growing.